So, um, I know you guys have seen the cup going around. Um, I think her name is Michelle Patrick. So she did that really cool shipwreck truck, um, excuse me, shipwrecked tumbler where she did um it looked like the side of a ship and it has all these beautiful waves coming up crashing whatever so um good um so i have been um, wanting to try that and so um i figured uh since i missed last friday so i would hop on here and i would do a quick tutorial so i'm going to go over the things that i'm going to use i always talk with my hands i can't help it um, i know you guys wanted to see me more instead of the little corner thing so i'm trying this a little different way um so i'm going to show you the guys show you guys show you the guys show you guys the things that I'm going to be using today um, and then we're going to get started. So let me move this mouse before I click off y'all or click click oops see click on y'all or something. Um, so the first thing you're going to need is a roll of um, tape. This is painter's tape so this will not remove your paint. Fingers crossed that's what it's supposed to not do but you know we're live and anything can happen right. Um, I have um, I have a box of these little magic erasers, the cheapo kind, because um, I am frugal. So, and I have a little piece of that. I have cut out my little Kraken um, out of vinyl. So I'm gonna create, so I'm gonna do the kind of the same thing, except I'm gonna have a Kraken like climbing up the side of my ship, okay? All right, so we have that and that. Um, you're gonna have to, ha you need a heat gun to move your epoxy around when we get to the waves part. Um, and let's see, I have some goodies on this little paper plate. Uh, I have a chip brush, one of these just little cheapy raggedy brushes. These are the coolest things for wood grain because it gives it that rustic look. Um, hey Jennifer, hey guys. Um, not this, don't need that. I have gloves because we are leaving to go out of town tomorrow and I'm trying not to look like this, but kind of too late. Um, and I have some alcohol inks. So I'm going to be combining some alcohol inks. I have um, caramel, latte, and teak wood, you know, the holy trinity for um, Tim Holtz when it comes to um, wood grain. We have that. Then I have my um, Heart and Soul um, Marabou. I have the Cinnamon and Vanilla. They're, these are very light colors um, of wood in our wood grain pack. We have a wood grain pack from Marabou that I love. This is lighter wood. This is kind of like the wood that you would think of if you're doing like baseball bats or really light finishes, right? Um, I have some blues for my water. I have turquoise and denim. I have, um, both of those are from um, Tim Holtz. I have pinata white. You guys know anything that does with white, this is it. Um, this is the one I'm going to um, be using all the time. And then I um, also grabbed Cajun Sparkle, which is our white mica that has um, little hints of gold flecks in it. So I might mix this for my white um, and give it just a little bit of shimmer and sheen, okay? All right, so um so i have that all right so the first thing i've done is i have um i i'm gonna turn you down a little bit so you guys i can't be like oh, we're holding you up here um we're gonna have to see it's got a little delay so i have pro i have primed my cup i have sanded it i had, i have spray painted it down it is ready to go it has been spray painted for a few days because i wanted to make sure it was nice and cured on this cup so when um we started putting our tape down uh, it's not going to pull up at all these handy dandy um holder things i get from the cup turner they are stands so when you're working on your projects you can just put your things right here and stand up and you don't have to worry about putting it face down okay um and then i have a paper plate uh, which i'll just use as a paint palette and also i keep notes on the back so <laughs> my my world is a mess guys my world is a mess all right so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to create um the Let's see if you can see this make sure there we go a little bit like this let's see how that there so you're going to cut your masking tape and you're going to use the masking tape to create your planks so um, you can um, cut these whatever links that you want 
I say cut them because um, it gives it a little bit, it, it can y'all see that? Let's see, move this a little bit. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut a few sizes. They don't have to be all the same size. This is a ship and ships are not perfect. Just like people, ships are not perfect. So I'm just cutting them in plank length as if I knew what a plank length was, right? So I'm just getting a few. And so we'll start with that. I'm gonna put them to, I'm gonna put them, hang them on the side of my table over here so I can just simply grab them really quick when I need them. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the first one. Hey guys, hey. Um, so I am going to, I'll move you here so you can see a little bit. Maybe I might have to move this a little closer. You know, I'm a hot mess guy, so it's, we are, I'm trying to make sure you guys can see. All right, so I'm gonna take my first plank piece of wood and I'm going to, I don't wanna put it all the way at the top because that's going to be, that's gonna be where your, the darkness between your planks are gonna come in. So you're gonna leave a little lip when you start to go around here, okay? All right, so I'm gonna take the next one I'm gonna leave a little space and do the same thing. Go all the way around like that, okay? Just gonna rub it down a little bit. Then I'm gonna take the next piece and do the same. I'm leaving a little bit of piece. I'm leaving a little space, as you can tell, in between my tape. That's where we're gonna create our shadows. Sitting here, oh, come on over. I told you guys I was coming over here. Oh, yeah. See, I, I'm, I'm just learning how to do the YouTube thing. Bring them over here, Melissa. Um, and so, as you notice, now this one is gonna be too small to go there, but that's okay. We're just gonna snip it, okay? So, I'm gonna lay this down, and I'm gonna snip this right about there. So it's not perfect, like I said, but when you get it finished, you're gonna be like, oh, wow. Yes, I am going to TumblrCon. We leave um, first thing in the morning. Um, I do not have anything done or ready, um, any, any of the sort. I have not packed, I have not washed clothes. Um, we have product packed and we have um, all kinds of cool stuff that we're bringing to show you guys but I am not prepared. <laughs> Hi guys. All right, so then this, I'm gonna just cut some random ones for the next row. Now we're not gonna go all the way down this tumbler. We're only gonna use, we're gonna use this 30 ounce. We're gonna stop at its little hump, his little, the little humpy bump or lump or where it starts to get smaller. So let me cut, I'm gonna continue to cut a few of these so we can maybe move it along, little doggy. All right, so. Then I'm going to start at the next one. So usually when you see planks and stuff, they're kind of staggered. So I will start there, um, maybe a little bit further down. There we go. It's hard to see this upside down. I just wanna make sure it's kind of straight-ish. There we go. So, and then that's your next one. So it's, it's a little bit over half, you do half, you do you, boo, whatever you wanna do. Oh, don't scratch that. And then you're gonna just go around the whole way. Mm, that one's not very straight. So let me let me fix this one really quick. Let me find my doohickey king here. What am I gonna do with it? Oh, here it is. All right, so I'm just gonna pick this up because this little piece of tape is not really straight. Not that it matters, but for all attentive purposes, straightish. There we go. Cool. TumblrCon is in Dallas. So we leave in the morning. We're going to pick up my friend Jill, and we will be there. I think there is a kickoff bash tomorrow night at some time. So hopefully we'll be there in time for that. So I don't worry if there's a little, 
um, wrinkle in it because you're not going to leave this on here. This is just for, um, um, Yes, I will have I will have um, I will have Mr. Nola stickers tomorrow to trade for with people. All right, so that is not where I want to go. I'm gonna have to fix another one. Can you guys see this? Okay, cool. So we're just going to follow it around, keep it as straight or not as straight. Again, ships are not perfect. Ships are like people; they are not perfect. And hmm, that one needs to be down a little bit more. Um, this is called a cup stand, or um, I think it's called a cup stand, or a, um, a stand. It's a, it's on, um, it's on, um, it's from Jamie, and her and her husband um, make amazing turners and accessories. And this is one of my favorite accessories. It's a cup stand. So when you're working with um, a turner that has PVC and you're holding on, you you know, because you use these for handles, uh, it just slides right here and it holds your cup standing up so you don't get um, gunk on it if you, you have a messy table like mine. All right, so. Then here, 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 and then this one was too long, so just gonna snip it. There we go. All right, and then we'll go down to the next one. The next row here. Looks like we'll get one more row after this one, so that's kind of cool. All right, so let me cut some more tape real quick. Release the Kraken. You know, that's what Mr. Nola likes to call me when I'm grumpy in the morning. He calls me the Kraken. I don't think it's very funny, but he really gets a giggle out of it. When we used to, before we had the shop and we worked from home, um, they would let me sleep in. They don't let me do that anymore. I wonder why. And so when I would get up and I would I would go to the garage because we, we, um, we shipped out of our garage for a long time. Uh, I would come in, my hair would be all messed up, and they would be like, release the Kraken, which I didn't think was very funny. But they all laughed and giggled and thought it was the funniest thing ever. Nerds. All right. Then the next here. Like again, your tape doesn't have to be perfect because um, it's not gonna stay there. It's just being used as a template, basically. This one is a little bit long, so. Cut that right there. Oh, of course you think it's funny. Of course you think it's funny, Melissa. I'm sure Mr. Nola's giggling too if he's near if he's hearing me. My kids think it's funny too. All right, and then one more row and we'll be ready to move on to some fun stuff. Okay. Super simple, just painter's tape. You can use masking tape if you have it. I wouldn't use I wouldn't use anything besides painter's tape or masking tape. I mean, there might be other tapes that I don't know about, but uh, painter's tape or masking tape are going to be the ones that you're going to be able to peel off really easily um, without messing up your base layer. Okay. All right. It's a little long as well, so we're going to cut that. We are located on the West Bank in Marrero. Short, really short cab ride, depending on where you are in the city. Um, we're about seven miles from, from downtown New Orleans, just crossing the, um, just crossing the, the bridge. 
mimic to the ranch dressing on a cup oh ranch dressing on a cup i don't know if i get that all right a couple more pieces and we'll get on to the fun stuff oh jennifer you're laughing too huh you think it's funny it's funny so while you're watching me put this tape on here, if you are enjoying watching me put this tape on here, or if you do like to hang out with me, if you'd give um, our video a thumbs up, that would be awesome. And if you don't wanna miss fun, more fun stuff, you could subscribe to our channel. I try to do content every Friday. Sometimes Fridays get away from me, like last Friday, um, I was actually riding in a Mardi Gras parade, so I wasn't doing much of anything. So this is, this is to make up for that. This Friday, I'll be out of town as well. So I kind of I kind of try to do it um, as much as I can, but at least try to do it once a week so you guys have something to, to learn um, or something to watch or another spin on something that you already know or another spin on something that you've already seen someone do. That's what learning is. Um, Carrie, do not make me lie to you. Um, I don't, I don't remember. Um, um, I don't, I don't remember exactly where it's at. If someone is, if someone's going and that's on here, can you remind me? I just know that it's Dallas. There we go. Uh, ranch dressing. That's crazy. Hi there. All right, so here we go. We got our our pattern um, down on the top. It kind of looks like R two D two or something. Um, as you can tell, not they're not all perfectly spaced. They're not all straight, and I am totally okay with that because I'm going to show you guys why. It's not really going to matter. Move this out of the way. My scissors. I'm so surprised and, and, and shocked that I had my scissors that handy. All right, so I'm going to, the parade was amazing. Um, the um, I'm going to mix a couple colors. This is kind of a dark color. Don't know if I want it that dark. That's teak wood. Teak wood is super mega dark. So this one is latte, which is kind of dark as well. I'm fixing to show you guys what I'm gonna do. You make your ship look whichever way you want to make your ship look. Mine's going to look like a hot mess. Hey, Angela. Yes. All right. So this is what I use my, um, those little magic erasers for. I'm sure I'm going to need um, more than that. And then I'm just going to dab it in between those squares because this is what you're creating your, um, your shadow with, okay? I actually do like the dark on there. So you're just gonna dab it. However dark that you want, which I'm thinking I like, I like it dark. Ranch look, I don't even know what ranch is supposed to look like in glitter. I'm kinda scared. <laughs> But I'm I'm intrigued, Jerry. I need to see this for real. I need I do need to see this ranch dressing. So I was mixing all those together, but I decided I really like the dark the best. So I'm just using straight up teak wood now. So you do whichever colors that you like the best. I do like that dark. So as you can see, I'm just dabbing, dabbing, dabbing. Um, I sell the lighter wood grain in a pack. If you look under, um, if you look under the Marabou, I do a light wood grain pack, um, which we'll use next, and I'll show you what they look like. But I don't think these come in a pack. I don't think we have these um, these in a bundle. But I can see about getting getting them to add them for us if that if that's what, if you guys want that. Awesome. We will be back um, next Monday uh, from from our event. So if it's if it's then, hopefully we get to see you guys. All right. Let 
a little bit more of the teakwood. Hey, Ashley. Um, the, this one is not. This teakwood is um, uh, Tim Holtz. The white that I will use is Pinata. Um, the lighter browns are Marabou. I, I use all inks. I use all, depending on what kind of look I'm going for, um, I use all of the different, I use all colors. They all have a different property or, see where this is kind of light right here, I went too light. They all, um, oh, you're welcome. They all react different, so it just depends on what kind of look you're going for. Tim Holtz, um, their, their browns are really good for dark woods. All right, so see, I'm not really going all the way down here. I lied. I am just a little bit, just a little. So there's not even, there's not going to be too much of a line because that's where your water line is going to come crashing up on the side of your ship. So thanks. Yeah, that was exciting. I was nervous. Could you tell I was nervous? So we were interviewed um, uh, by um, Great Day Louisiana last week, and it aired today. So it was we. Were, I was kind. I was telling them I was kind of nervous. Their cameras are a lot bigger than my cameras. <laughs> Yep, everything on everything in the store is ten percent off today till midnight. No coupon needed. So um, it is to pre-celebrate Mr. Nola's birthday, because I told everybody his birthday was today um, last week. Because I can't tell the dates. So, all right, all right. So I think that is pretty much done. Just make sure I have a little bit down here. Okay. And now we're going to watch. You ready? Um, electrical tape would work, but sometimes electrical tape leaves sticky residue behind. Um, so uh, I don't, I don't really particular. I use. Um, and see, I really sopped it, but that's okay. So it did come through some way because I didn't. I was really juicy with it, but watch, it's not going to matter. Okay, so you're kind of seeing the magic here. When you take it off this tape, your planks are being revealed. Um, we were supposed to, that's again, um, I, don't, I don't have any concept of dates. So I thought today was the 19th, so that's why I told everybody we were leaving today. Um, today is not the 19th. Yay. Hey, Tana. Um, today is not the 19th. So... That's why we didn't leave. Shocker. All right. All righty. And so now I'm just removing. Now that I have my shadows, my dark, my dark wood, in between my planks, I'm taking off the tape to reveal white. <clears throat> yep. I just cut and place the painter's tape. There's no exact science to it, nothing. I just alternate it to make it look like shiplap or ship, ship is that what it's called, shiplapped? Where you do those walls with the um, little things all different ways. Um, we are on our way to Dallas for um, a convention tomorrow. So um, we will celebrate his birthday when we get back. So I've taken off this tape and this is what we're going to be left with. All right. So this is what we're left with. So we're left with our planks, right? So oops, my football kind of got slid down. Let me close these inks because I don't like to leave my inks open because I am the one that will knock them over and spill them everywhere. That's okay. Um, I use teak wood. It's a dark color. It's pretty much, it's really dark. All right, so let me go grab something really quick and then um, let's see where to go. <sighs> what did they do with my spray? 
Here it is. All right, I'm gonna show you guys a quick tip. People are gonna lose their minds, but this is what I do. Oh yeah, I forgot, I forgot. I will when I mess with epoxy. All right, so, I'm gonna, let me see. I'm gonna bring you up here real quick. So, we know that alcohol reactivates alcohol. So, I'm gonna show you guys a quick tip. Um, I'm gonna seal this really quick, but it's not going to be with the clear spray paint unless, no. So I'm gonna use Aquanet hairspray. This is an old tip and trick from the Mardi Gras Cruise. Um, this will seal hairspray, will not take away the sparkle. I mean, this will he seal hairspray. This will seal glitter, will not take away sparkle. I use this sometimes when I'm doing an ombre really quick. You can spray it in your house and it doesn't smell. Um, I mean, it smells, but it doesn't, like you have to do it outside. So I'm gonna spray this really quick and then we're gonna keep talking really quick. All right, so I just did that so I could seal my ink, okay? Because the next step is gonna be fun. So we're gonna let this, we're gonna watch hairspray dry for a second. Um, and then we're gonna move on to the next step. Make sure, oh, this is the wrong. Yeah, and it's only that dollar hairspray that works very well. All the other ones don't, um, don't work too well. So I'm going to take my heat gun and dry it really quick. Um, I, I, I have used a lot of hairsprays, but that Aquanet is the bomb. It works the best. So I'm just going to dry this with my heat gun. And see, it's kind of running a little bit, but that's okay because watch, I'm gonna show you the magic when we're fixing to do this, but the rest of it is gonna stay put. It's because I sprayed too much hairspray. I'm gonna turn on high. Smells like the 80s, yep. I do too, but um, they always bust me when I spray in here. When we prep cups, it's even, it's almost too strong when we prep cups, when we spray it outside and we bring them inside to dry. So I'm trying not to, I'm trying not to kill my, my, my crew. Yes, it's super cute. My whole, my whole place is a mess though. I would show y'all, but it's like hot mess express. Yes, ma'am. Look, y'all put that. You put that Aquanet in your hair, your hair ain't going nowhere. And neither will this ink. Aquanet was for that when you had that tall hair. You know, whenever you, you, you teased your hair and it was like to the ceiling. That's what that Aquanet was for. Almost dry. She tries to smell everything. Look, my paper towels are handy. All right. You can let that dry naturally. You can use clear spray paint if you want to. Um, whichever, whatever you want to do. I have one little dot there. That's not dry. Um, it's up to you. This is what I grabbed, so I didn't have to pause the video. Um, you do you, boo. Okay? Everybody does something different. There you go. So now that's dry, all right. Yeah, you'd go whick, 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 like that. All right, so, all right, we're gonna turn you back down so you can watch um, the cup instead of me. Beehive hair, yeah. All right, so the next colors I'm gonna use are cinnamon and vanilla from Marabou, okay? Um, where is this at? Can y'all see that? All right. Yes, Melissa. Yes, indeed. So that is a little light. 
don't mix. I don't want you to mix. Let me put something under here because I don't want it to go over there and mix in that. And then this one is a little darker, but still kind of light. So I'm mixing the two together. Cinnamon and vanilla. Sounds like coffee. I'm getting my chip brush here. I don't, I have a thing for sound effects. I don't know why. <laughs> Stevie Nicks hair. Yes. Um, it didn't change the color too much. No. You're about to blend it anyways. So it's not really, it's not really that big of a deal. All right. So you're going to take this chip brush, right? See if you can see this. So you are, you can see it here. I'm going to dump it, dab it in here. And I'm going to start brushing. Can you see that? And creating wood grain. It's a little juicy. And I'm actually going to trim my brush a little bit. All right, hold on one second. My brush is just a little bit too wide. I want it to fit perfectly in those little thingies. So hang on. All right, so I just trimmed it a little bit, right? Um, I got this, um, I got this stand uh, from the cup turner, Jamie, all right? So then I'm doing this and then I'm just going through here. I'm coming back and brushing this wood grain on here. Can y'all see, oh, can y'all see me? Oop. Get in the camera. So the little raggedy brush, the little chip brush, the cheapy, cheapy brush is what causes those patterns that gives it like the real rough texture that makes it look like wood grain. You can sometimes get these at the, um, the stores for like 10 for a dollar. Okay. My, my stuff was a little bit too uh, runny, my alcohol inks, and so it kind of mucked up that one, but that's okay. I don't care. I'm good. You want a little bit of that dark? You can add a little dark into it if you want. You can um, you can layer this when this gets dry. You can add you can go back in and add some dark streaks to it. Right there. All right. So there's there you go. And then you're just gonna continue to go around. All right. So, lab a little dabby dabby here. I blow on it when I'm when I see a really cool pattern, I go ahead and blow on it cuz I want it to dry and leave that pattern. So when you when you blow lightly on it like that, you see how it's given that really cool texture right there? And my brush is shedding because I, I cut it, you know, sorry. All right, same thing. I'm gonna fill this in here. There you go. So there's my little wood grain. So see, you can't even tell where it it um, it leaked through the tape. Hey, Susan. Um, and you're just gonna keep on keeping on. I'll probably add another little drop of the dark here to mix with this light. And I'm just keeping it between my little shadows on my plank.
when I get a pattern that I like, I just blow to dry the ink like that. more drops of the latte and okay another more a couple more drops of this cinnamon it's like I'm making coffee cinnamon latte vanilla now I want coffee Again, don't worry about it being perfect because it's a shipwreck. It's a ship. Ships are not perfect. There you go. All right. It goes pretty simple, pretty easy. a little difficult doing it upside down but I'm okay so far so good right looks like ship to me like I said you could pick whatever colors that you want if you want it darker lighter whatever you want to do this is just this is just what I picked I'll go back and pick off those little brush pieces that because I gave my brush a hairspray a, a haircut see how um, when I get that little pattern the brush pattern I just blow it all right and then we'll finish off this one down here this bottom row. A little bit more. So if you guys are interested in any of the inks and stuff, everything is on sale at MrNolasGlitter.com today um, for 10% off. No coupon code needed, just Anything you put in your buggy works to pre-celebrate Mr. Noel's birthday. All right, and just a couple more planks and we'll be done. Okay, honey. Yeah, you can if you want. If you want it, the white ship lap, you um, sh ship lap, ship 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 lap, ship lap. Um, you can do you can do that. Um, you can do that. You can use this same technique. Make the um, little. You can make the tape smaller and make bricks. You can do you can do anything with this. Um, I'll find a smaller brush and I'll do a couple knots for you. Not me and knots don't really get along that well, but mm, I need a stubby one. I'm actually going to use um, if I have a paint marker, I'm going to add some little rivets with a paint marker and I'll show you no. that'll work. Maybe, yeah, thank you, ma'am. No And the last little bit here, one more dot. All 
there we go so there is my base if you want it darker you can do darker so I'm gonna take the caramel maybe and let me see if I can create a, a little knot for you guys awesome thank you Mary so you just take a little um, a, another small scruffy little brush in a darker color and I like to look for my imperfections to create knots and you just make a little knot as the as the ink dries it gets dark and I just keep blowing until the ink gets dry this one this brush is shedding too good gravy so there's a little bit of a knot if you want knots I don't really I don't think I'm gonna I think that'll be the only knot that I do I'm going to put like little rivets so if you see some places that you want to get it more covered take a smaller brush if she was close enough I would definitely glitter nap her she's coming to glitter con though she'll be here she'll be here for glitter con I'm gonna go back over some of these spots that are a little light right here And it gives it a little bit more texture as well you can do as much or as little to these wooden planks as you want guys if you are happy with the way they look stop now um, I've also I've been told a million times I never know when to stop on a project so just a little bit more and then we'll go on to the next step Can y'all see that? I don't know. All right, I'm gonna leave it alone before I really muck it up, except right there. The bottom ones don't really matter that much because a lot of it's going to be covered with your water. Just wanna make sure no really white spots are showing. There we go. So there's, there's my little knot up here and there is the top of our ship. Um, if I had, let me let, let me let, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. Let me let this sit here for a second and you guys look at that for a second. I don't want to put that there. Don't do that. Suck your mind. All right. Hold on one second. Let me, um, what was I going to do? Mm. Paint marker. One second. Let me grab a paint marker. Yes. All right. So that is a black paint marker. That's what I need. Just a black one. A couple of them. All right. So I'm going to show you the last little final thing that I like to do. Um, just to give it a little bit more detail. My favorite part of doing a project is um, is the detail part. Uh, if I if I draw something, I'll draw it and get it over with really fast. But then I spend lots of hours on the little details so let me show you guys really quick hopefully these markers work and then we'll get on to the next thing all right so I'm just going to use my plate here to ink these are just um, uh, paint markers I think these are acrylic 
I don't know if this is going to work. Stay tuned. I have some oil-based ones, but I don't know where they are. And I'm just stabbing it here to get the paint. So, um, yep, I definitely will. It'll st it'll be here. So, I would do a little a little rivet there. A rivet here. So I would do rivets. You can do, if you want them to have two rivets on each one, you can. Um, I'm only doing one. This is an old ship, so the rivets are not all round and perfect. You want them in both corners, you can do that. You don't want them to have it, you can do that too. This is just, this is just the way I'm doing mine. Rivet, nail, whatever you want to call it, bolt. I would think it would be a rivet if it was a ship. See, this is where I messed up, so I'm actually going to faux rivet there. Ooh, that's yucky before I go back and final epoxy I'll pull all my little things out oops see and I messed up right there don't do that that rivet is real big don't even worry about it it's art just remember when you guys make tumblers I like to think of them as art no one's tumbler is gonna look the same as someone else's so your style your when you try this technique yours might not look exactly like mine and there's nothing wrong with that so what you think mr. Nola do you think it looks like a side of a ship like a pirate ship like like that there we go so there's my little rivets on it um, and that part is really gonna make me um, freak out that little messed up part hang on y'all look at this don't look at that one um, let me get a q-tip mr. Nola was in and out let's see rivet on or not yep I'm like well just do it well I did it under See, the knot was kind of over there-ish. Yeah. Yeah, totally don't do that. Don't touch it if you mess up because that's going to make it worse. Let me see if I can get this off with alcohol. <sighs> kind of makes me nervous to try to just do this too. Let me try it with dry first. That's a big old rivet, yo. Yep, don't do that. Let me see if I can fix this really quick before I have a panic attack. Mm -hmm. I missed one next to the messy spot. Yeah, I'm not going to do one there because it's got a knot there. So it's kind of busted apart maybe. Let me see. Let's see if I can fix this really quick. Not terrible, but whatever. There we go. So that part's fixed, right? All right. So I'm actually going to seal this really quick with clear spray paint, and I'm going to come back, and we're going to get our epoxy mixed, and um, and hang on. Let me dry it. We're going to, we're going to put the cracking on first. Let me dry this paint real quick. 
next to the ink spot. Here, right here. Oh, I see it. I missed it. Shoot. All right. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Let me find the marker. Let's see. Found it. There we go. There we go. Whew. Our boat was going to fall apart. Saved by the day, right? Let me make sure. There, 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 there. Okay. Cool. We got it. Shoot. sure yeah because this was so I'm trying to hurry this along when we have when you have more time you don't necessarily have to do this I'm just making sure that this those paint pens are not wet on those rivets when I start touching it and wrestling a cracking make sure that it's not going to come up that's not going to go anywhere boat <laughs> my boat yeah I kind of talk with a little twang I guess my boat yep so all right yeah all that paint is really wet let me dry it a few more minutes a few more seconds and then we'll wrestle a kraken plate but it has um, reservations on the back of that plate you're welcome I didn't create this um, this technique like I said um, a lady named Michelle Patrick I think she was the first one that shared um, how she did this um, I um, don't know that I've ever watched her tutorial um, but I just wanted to make sure that the proper credit got to her um, I seen my friend Melissa do a couple of them and I was like, oh, I could do that. Um, and so that's how, that's how I decided to do this. Um, so here's my Kraken. I typed in Kraken in Google, um, and I found one, uploaded it to Silhouette, traced it, made it. Okay. So, um, my cup, let me make sure I don't have any of my little pieces of brush my haircut brush I gave my brush a haircut so this is look guys I can touch this now so it's pretty cool um, so it's all dry I don't have to worry about it smearing or anything like that nothing's going anywhere but I just want to make sure those little pieces I had a few pieces of brush hair stuck all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for um, the place that I don't like the most to kind of cover this a little bit. So that would probably be, I want the Kraken to sit right on. So I'm, if you see the back here or the front, I made him, this was the bottom part of him. This is, this is who, this is what he was. So I just, I cut him like a little hump or whatever. Um, yes, we're leaving in the morning, April. And um, so I am going to put him probably right there so I'm gonna cover up that maybe I'll put it there I'm gonna cover up that ugly blob the one that the one I messed up on all right so so you I'm gonna struggle just a little bit because this is going to be on a hump um, and 
that was one of the reasons why I don't really like these 30 ounce tumblers but these look really nice um, this technique looks really nice with this so there he is I'm gonna put him right here I'm gonna try and put him put his little legs down easily I'm not I'm not gonna press too hard because I don't want it to lift anything I hope this transfer tape can you guys see me um, does not don't lift on my white paint it probably will though because we're live and that's what happens but that was another reason yeah another reason why I let it sit for a couple days before um, we went along we went on I, I did this because I wanted it to be really really there's my here it is <laughs> All right. Pull it off. Oh no, you better put your little cracking head right back down there. You're not going nowhere. You're staying with me, buddy. So, I might have to um, uh, add a little slice or something there. So, it'll go flat down there. But, this looks like it might work. talk to myself oh can y'all hear <laughs> all right good stay 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 there we go cool all righty so I got most of him on here as you can see or as you can see but so I have it like here so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add little snips to it so it lays down a little flat I don't know if you can see here I'm gonna be covering this up with epoxy and um, in water so you're not gonna see that but because it's on a curved surface, it's not laying 100% flat. So I did two little slits to kind of give it, so it can fold over like that. And then I'm just pressing it all down. So I have a little, I have a couple little creases right here, but you're not gonna be able to see that because on our next step, when we do the water, I'll put the water that comes, where it looks like he's crashing up out of the water, okay? What the, all right, cool. All right, so there he is. There he is climbing up the side of um, our shipwreck. We covered that ugly dot that I messed up, so you can't see that, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put this on a different chuck so we can put it, oops, on our turner and I'm going to mix epoxy. So hold please. Hold please. Let's see. Get 
you guys up here so you can see, but let me get, whoops, let me get some epoxy mixing. Really fast. What time is it? Three o'clock, good gravy. I'm late, I'm late for a very important day. What am I using? What am I using? Not that. Let me get some gloves on because I shouldn't be touching epoxy without gloves. I did not warp it, Jerry. Um, I'm one of those people that don't know how to do that. I, I probably would have worked a lot better if I did, um, but clearly I'm not that advanced. Let me put... One second and I'll come answer some more questions while our epoxy mixes and then I get our cups ready for the fun water part. Mixing, let me get us some mixing cups. And then we could pop some sticks. Good to go. Alright. So the next part we are going to um hi from Kentucky. Alright, so the next part we're gonna have our cup on the turner. I'm going to, it's already here. I'm going to move it over. Let me see if I can clean up my mess. That's laughable. I'm, ooh, nope. Ooh, that was alcohol in there. It's like, oh, why is that wet? Just alcohol. Don't worry. All right. So, we might have to put you back on this box to get you higher up. Don't worry. I have you. Perfect. Now you guys can see the cup. Oops. All right. Can you guys see the cup now? Maybe. All right. Um, Angela, I think it's just for the silhouette, and it's the silhouette business edition, I think. Can you guys see that, or you're out of... have a bunch of baloney on my desk, guys. So, can y'all, y'all wanna get a little closer? Let's see, so there's our Kraken. Climbing up on the side of our of our ship. Doesn't look too bad. Down here you're not gonna it's not gonna matter. Bottom's not gonna matter. You're about to shipwreck it. Um, baby, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna seal my um, alcohol. Um, the only thing I really wanted to I didn't want it to um, mess up. Um, 
with the other alcohol, alcohol on top of alcohol. So, um, wait, no, wait. No, I'm not going to seal the alcohol again. This could be disastrous. Yes, let's, it could be disastrous. Let me, let me seal it while the epoxy's mixing. What you think about the cracking, Mr. Nola? All right, I did seal it because y'all were making, y'all were giving me a panic attack. <laughs> Let me dry it while they plug in it too. No missing. Becky, I don't know. We're gonna find out. I sealed it. Normally, if your alcohol inks turn green, um, it will turn back once it starts to cure, so. All right, so we have denim, we have turquoise, we have white, and we have Cajun Sparkle that we're going to use. came back yeah um yeah i've had customers call they're like oh my god my wood grain is green what do i do and i'm like um what did you do and then they'll call back and say false alarm it turned back so, so if, if it, it turns it will definitely turn back as it cures you can come in you leave it. all right Friday. I don't know if we're coming in tomorrow before we leave. Probably not. We probably have to leave early. There's some kind of event or something we have to be there for. Huh? Oh, at your house. Oh. And it's raining. Yeah. All right. Huh? Love you. I'll talk to you tonight. All right. So my epoxy's mixed. I have a couple little cups. Um, here, but the first thing I'm going to do is, um, the little dots over the little dot, two little dots over the tentacles look like frowny faces. Ah, that's his little frowny friend, huh? <laughs> it's okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my mixed epoxy clear first never be able, oh he does he looks like a little angry dude huh i'm gonna take my mixed epoxy and i'm going to base coat my cup i'm putting a thin layer so this is going to be my carrier for when i do the waves and stuff so i'm gonna do it all i'm gonna cover the whole cup with a thin layer of just clear epoxy okay this is anytime I do any kind of um, alcohol inks in my epoxy, I always start with this thin, um, clear layer. And it is like, it is, I call it the car a carrier. That's my carrier la layer. Don't forget your bottoms. Your bottoms are important. Remember, we talk about that all the time. Um, so, super thin layer. I'm going to take most of it off because I'm going to change gloves and then we're going to mix the colors. I missed a spot up here. It's a little dry. There's other ways you can do this. You can use your gloved hand. You can use a epoxy. Um, 
uh, an epoxy brush if you want to. Um, you do, you do you, boo. So, there is that. I'm going to do a quick glove change, really quick. So, these gloves got glitter on them. I wonder where they got glitter. I did. I sprayed a little bit of, um, of Aquanet on it. I just needed a little thin layer. I just wanted to make sure that it's not, um, it's not going to run, which it didn't. Um, I do not know what epoxy I've used. I am out of epoxy. Um, we are um, epoxy -less right now. So um, I have drops of everything. Um, so, all right. So I'm going to mix a little bit of that here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start dropping. my inks on my white bottom of my cup. So this is denim. This is a darker color. All right. Of course, it's going to take a while before it looks like you want it to look. So don't just, if you're just, those of you just tuning in, don't freak out. Oh, I hope he's doing good, Dana. And this one is turquoise. So I wanted a little bit of light and dark colors. All right, so it's kind of looking like the, it's starting to look like the ocean a little bit. I think I need a, another little darker of blue. I don't really like that denim. I'm going to go grab another blue real quick. So, y'all watch the pretty color spin and let me grab another color blue real quick. Wow, I'm so far it's mixing together it kind of looks good <laughs> hey Angie <sighs> okay so that might look okay let me add a little bit more of the dark in there all right and I got some Baja blue let me add a couple little dots of that one there we go that's giving it that's giving it some light all right so let me grab a little bit of this this is our cajun sparkle and it is a white mica that has gold flecks in it because i want a little bit of sparkle in mine I'm going to mix it with that epoxy right here, but um, before I start doing the white. So I've just added a little bit of that Cajun Sparkle into here, and it's getting everywhere on me. All right. And then I'm going to take that, and I'm going to take my Pinata White, and I'm going to put a couple drops of that in there to make it really white. There we go. And loosen that up a little bit. And this is like liquid gold. All right. And so then I'm going to take this mix that I just spilled on my hands. And I'm going to drizzle it a little bit drizzle it right over here because I want those waves to come up over this cracking here 
Looks like a mess, I know, don't worry. I know this, I know this. I'm gonna slap some at the bottom. I'm aware, fully aware, looks like a mess. It look like a mess. No, I bought this from a friend. Um, I think, where did I get this from? I don't know, I'm thinking. All right, so then I'm gonna take the heat gun and I'm going to heat my epoxy up and these colors here and I want them to start moving like they're crashing. Oh, awesome. Thanks for joining us. So, when your epoxy heats up a little bit, then those colors start to really move and they start to um, marinate, oop, marry together. I'm gonna turn it up on high a little bit. And it starts getting that um, natural, little natural, organic moves. There we go. So when you see it start dripping a lot, if you got if it's going away that you don't want it to move, take the heat off of it. I need some at the bottom. So I'm gonna let that turn for a little while. Might drop a couple more drops of blue in there while it's really um, movie, movie, liquidy movie oh I said movie this Vis viscous this this whatever it's called so you can see the shimmer in there um, which I love so if you want a little bit more white then you're just gonna take the white and drop a couple of dots of white in it I love the Cajun sparkle in it because it's it gives it the white but it also gives it some sparkle gives it some shimmer and I see a little spot right there don't be causing anything weird and then I'll take some more of this turquoise on top of that white because I don't want it like white white you can see how the waves are crashing up here like he's coming out of the water Kind of looks like it's coming out of the water. Let's see if I can move this. I just lifted it so I could get some color at the bottom down there. I think that's pretty cool. And I don't know that I will do much more to it. I will um, watch it for a few minutes. Um, but I think those colors are really, um, are really marrying really well together. I might drop a little drop of that right there. All right, come back and check out the final look. Just a little bit of strings. Yeah, I don't want it too high. I don't want it to cover the Kraken too much. I want it to kind of look like he's crashing out of the water. Like that's the way it comes up there high. And then if you want like little details, you just take a little fine string of um, your white if you want to flood it a little bit and give it some more movement, you just add clear epoxy to the top, which I have some left. We can do that if you want to see what that effect is. 
So I just add just little lines of this to give it some detail. Awesome, of course. This might have to be my vacation cup. Mr. Nola might like this one. It might remind him of me. Do I have some fish eyes? There's one, there's one, there's one. If you have fish eyes, keep a watch on them and then you can just touch them with your glove finger and they will go away. There's one. There we go. I think I got them all. I use the gold. I use the Cajun silver, uh, the Cajun sparkle gold. Sometimes when you're using inks, it does cause a little bit of a fish eye. Um, who? Sh what was? She, what? What was she named? What? What? What should we name the kraken? Yes, I cannot wait. You guys show me what you create, re recreate. Post them in the group. If you guys have enjoyed this, give us a thumbs up. If this is your first time watching, I hope that you like us and hope that you want to come back and watch me do some other stuff. Um, if you have any questions about anything that I've used, I will get them posted in the comments section a little later tonight. Um, but... Um, it was pretty simple. We did the whole thing in about an hour and 20 minutes and that was a lot of us talking and, and this, that, and the other, but um, I think it came out pretty dang good. So yeah, so that's what they call, they call, um, in myth, it's Greek mythology. That's what octopuses were called that were huge, that would eat whole ships. They were called krakens. So this one is actually eating a ship, so yeah. release the kraken all right guys well thank you so much for hanging out with me when this gets dry i'll get some really good pictures of it and uh we'll update the cover photo of that um if you have any questions just um just leave us a comment come over and check out our facebook group mr nola's glitter um we are on instagram we are pretty much everywhere um and we'd love to have you come join us and if you recreate this and if this is something that you like and you do come show me i'd love to see if you got other sea creatures coming out of the water attacking your your ship or whatever let me see it um uh, as always, I thank you guys and I appreciate you guys for hanging out with me and um, I will talk to you soon if I can find a mouse and we're going to turn you off. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, look. Maybe. We have the mouse. We have the mouse. Let's see. All right, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.